Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting something that might be a little bit controversial. We're shooting Hornady American Whitetail 223 Remington, their 60 grain interlock load. And here is the box for that Hornady American Whitetail 223 load, the 60 grain interlock. Here is your ballistics information right there. So scooting along just over 3,000 feet per second. Be curious to see what it does out of the 18 inch barrel of my CZ flip it around. Here's all of your promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, zoom in, read all that if you would like to. Basically, it's saying right up here, this is designed for whitetail deer hunting, which might be a little controversial for some people being a 223, but we're going to shoot this stuff and see how it does in gel at least, which sure isn't the same as a deer, but it can give us some information that we can go off of. Let's go ahead and open this up, take a look at the ammo itself. Nice clean brass, no surprises there. Hornady brass is usually really nice. Let's yank one out. And there you go, little 60 grain soft point. Let's shoot it and see what it does. And the test rifle today is my CZ527 carbine. It's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel. I don't exactly recall. Chambered in 223, of course. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs, which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine, coincidentally enough. So it works for that as well. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady American Whitetail 60 grain load out of the 223. And we did manage to capture all three bullets. So let's go ahead and take a look at penetration first. This one, the first one here is about uh, 13 and a half inches. This one is right at 14 and this one is kissing 15 inches. And it looks like the bullets held together for the most part. I guess it's clearer up top here. So I am pleasantly surprised and happy that the bullets seem to have held together. They didn't just blow up on impact because these things were going pretty fast. Coming on back, we have some good wound cavity starting about eh, really about one and a quarter inches in and it blows up and comes on back and it starts to taper off at about the seven inch mark. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that, that's for sure. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Hornady American Whitetail 60 grain 223 load, our high was 30.23, our low was 29.69, and our average was 3,001. That's actually pretty close to factory spec. I'm pleasantly surprised. And here we are looking at those Hornady American Whitetail 60 grain interlock bullets as recovered from the ballistic gel. Let's go over weight retention. We saw 37, 38, and 39 grains, interestingly enough, for an average of 38 grains of retained weight. That works out to 63% weight retention. And onto expansion, we saw just like weight retention, it, it upped itself by you know 0.01 each time, 0.42 inches, 0.43 inches, and 0.44 inches respectively for an average of 0.43 inches expanded diameter. And that works out to 1.9X expansion. On to velocity, our high velocity was 3,023 feet per second, our low was 2,969, and our average was 3,001 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 3,090 feet per second. So we did come in slow on average, 89 feet per second slow, which is a lot closer to the factory build velocity than some other ammos that I have tested. So I'm actually pretty pleased with this. And keep in mind, we're shooting this from an 18 inch barreled CZ carbine, but I think this is realistic. This is some good real world data points because most people shooting a 223 these days are shooting out of a 16 or 18 inch barrel. Sure, varminters and coyote hunters and stuff might be using 24 inch barrels, but 16 and 18 is a lot more realistic for most people. And then on to penetration, we saw 13 and a half, 14 and 15 inches respectively for an average of 14 inches of penetration. Now, 
keep in mind, this ammo is marketed for deer hunting specifically. It's called American Whitetail. There's a deer on the box. On the back of the box, it talks about deer hunting. This is supposed to be deer hunting ammo. The penetration is definitely on the shallow side compared to larger calibers that I have tested. It'll be interesting to see other 223 loads that I make videos for to see kind of where a lot of the 223 ammo winds up penetration wise. And now on to kinetic energy with a 60 grain bullet going on average 3,001 feet per second. We're looking at 1,200 foot pounds exactly of kinetic energy at the muzzle, which wound up being about the average for your 223 loads that are marketed as deer ammo. I've tested quite a few so far. This is the first video that's coming out and 1,200 foot pounds is about where most of them land. Some of them a little less, some of them a little more. This is about the average. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Hornady American Whitetail 60 grain interlock load for the 223. And this is the very first deer hunting oriented 223 load that I have reviewed and tested. So this will be fun. And honestly, before we get going on this load, I was underwhelmed. Um, I wish this would have done a little bit better. And from what I understand, I, I'm not sure if this load is still in production or not. The last time I went to Hornady's website, I believe it wasn't listed anymore under the American Whitetail line, but I've continued to see it in store. So that's why I went ahead and picked up a box to test it. Anyways, let's get into it. So weight retention wise, 63%, a little bit less than I would like to see. And that's because I've tested quite a few 223 loads. All the videos aren't out yet, but I have all the information right here in my hand. And this just didn't perform that great. That's actually not that great of a weight retention. Um, expansion wise, 1.9x expansion. That's not horrible. It's not super great. But what's interesting is there's a lot of 223 loads that actually do better than that and retain more weight. So I'm a little bit underwhelmed there as well. Velocity wise, we came in 89 feet per second slower than the factory build velocity. No surprise there, that's sort of par for the course. You almost never hit the factory build velocity. And we were shooting these out of an 18 inch barreled CZ carbine. If you had a longer barrel, maybe you would reach that factory velocity, maybe not. But most people are using 16 and 18 inch barrels in their 223s these days. Yes, there are dedicated varmint rigs and other guns that have longer barrels, but by and large, people aren't using them for deer hunting. And sure, by and large, people aren't using 223 for deer hunting either. Some people do, though. That's why I wanted to test this ammo. And then penetration-wise, 14 inches on average. It was fairly consistent, and that's not horrible. There are some loads that did worse, some that did better. Stay tuned for further videos to look at those results. Um, and then kinetic energy wise, these hit right there on the average that I saw. 60 grain bullet going 3,001 feet per second on average gives you 1,200 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. And that is the exact, you know, right in the middle type average of all the deer hunting oriented 223 loads I tested. They're right there around the 1,200 foot pound mark. And so all in all, really, I think this was sort of mediocre performance. It didn't do anything great. It didn't do anything really horrible either. If I was going to be looking, this is just my opinion, if I was looking for a 223 load to hunt deer with, this wouldn't be at the top of my list. Your results may vary. If you or anyone you know have used this ammo on deer, let us know how it did in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.